Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to FTB Skies, where in the last episode we set up our sifters and semi-automated the process of getting resources right here. But it isn't actually fully automated yet. It would be nice if uh, sand and dust and gravel just automatically came down from the skies and, well, landed right right on top of it, but we are going to be doing that manually today. Also, I'm very, very curious on what that village has to offer, but I'm not sure how to get there. Maybe with the floaty device that we found in the last episode in that weird barrel, but uh, who knows. But as I said, today we're going to be automating this process so we can get resources, well, endlessly. Now in the last episode, I did say that we could use the millstone, but I have discovered that we do in fact have the auto hammer. If we go into here, and I believe it is in, yes, x -Dil right here. As you can see, we have the auto hammer. And we're going to be doing this today, and as soon as we get one, we will be able to get some more as well. So, first things first, I want to upgrade this setup. This is not ideal anymore, since we do have... I, my head went weird, like, that rotation, weird. Um, but yes, I want to set up this uh, a little bit differently. Now that we have water buckets and whatnot, I can actually set up proper water wheel systems. So I'm going to start off by tearing this down actually, and also making some more sifters because I'm, I want to be getting, I think nine in total uh, to do this. Maybe, actually no, the wooden hoppers are working just fine. Uh, just primarily getting more sifters and then we need to make the iron hammers, which for that I do still need to hammer down quite a few uh, <laughs> cobblestone. But we also set this up in the last episode to get us plenty of cobblestone. Maybe there's even a speed upgrade, I'm not sure. But for now it is getting the work done just fine. So I'm gonna block this up, I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna be stuck because I didn't bring any dirt and also I placed water sources right here so I gotta get rid of that. But now actually that worked out perfect because now I have a way out. Aha! Right. Take some dirt, fill this up. And I think I'm going to have to either move the location of this maybe to over here. But I do really love the idea of having the water wheels and whatnot here. I just don't want to get in the way of the crane. So maybe I just chop down this wood right here. This wood lock area right there. Something like that. Maybe remove the lock that is hanging from this. But then maybe having the water wheels here or something like that. I don't know. I think first things first, I need to make a couple more sifters. Which for that, I'm going to be needing some more stone and cobblestone. So right off the bat, I'm just going to take a stack, I think. Pop that into there. That's sure that actually won't be enough. Do we have more coal in here? Yes, we do. So I'm just going to pop half of that in there. That's fine. Then we have extra stone when we need it. We also need to make some more meshes, which for that I need to get some more string, which is right over here. And if I want nine, I just need four more. So, yep, that is... Uh, can I please pick this up? There we go. So we're back up, <laughs> causing lag. And there's this recipe as well, which is really, really awesome, where you could just use the logs as uh, you normally would. Uh, yes, mesh. I'm going to actually... We want to get andesite mesh, which means I need to get more andesite alloy, which means do I have any more iron nuggets? I have one. I have one. <laughs> and I only have... how much andesite? I only have two more andesite actually. Hold up. How do I get andesite then? Uh, andesite is going to be kind of relevant. Material generator. Polished andesite underneath a pedestal. Looks like... Would Looks like it generates andesite, so that's good to know. Uh, but other than that, it looks like I might need diorite, and to get diorite, I would need nether quartz. Uh, that must be an easier way to get to get andesite. Hold on. There is actually, if we, uh, through a sifter, use string mesh and dirt, we actually have a chance, a 90% chance of getting andesite chunks. So if I set up a sifter, the cogwheel, and the hand crank, which I never picked up because I didn't think I would be needing it, but I did uh, place uh, this here, this here, and then just... And this side mesh is probably actually going to be making this even better. So if I drop like five of those down, we should potentially be getting some andesite chunks, which we can then turn into andesite blocks, which we can then turn into andesite alloy. And let's see. Yes, 
five andesite and diorite chunks as well. So there we go. I'll just have to set that up. I need quite a lot of water wheels for this to work, actually, because I want to sift through gravel, sand, dust, dirt as well, I think. Because if we sift this, what do we actually get? Sifting recipe. Well, mainly andesite, diorite, and tough. Maybe that's not super necessary. It could it could be a side thing that uh, that we that we set up. Um, but for now, I'm going to drop this into here, and while all this is melting and I'm getting everything ready, I want to tell you about my Discord server. If you didn't know, I actually do have a community Discord server. I just recently revamped it, made it nice, it look all nice with new channels, brand new channels and things like that. So if you haven't joined it yet, be sure to do so with the link down below in the description. Join the community, chat about all sorts of stuff, and I'm hoping to see you there. We have a good time. Workout session. Oh yeah, workout session indeed. Ow. Food is also slowly becoming a thing that I need to worry about. For now, I'm sorted, but probably won't be for long. But let's see how many... Yep, that's quite a few andesite stuff and seeds. I just talked about food. So food, uh, these seeds might be the solution that I needed. All right, that is enough andesite chunks for now. There we go, six of those. Now I, of course, just need to get iron together with them. But yes, let me gather everything that I need and I will be right back with you. All right, there we go. That is nine sifters right there. And I don't really need this anymore, to be completely honest with you. Uh, but I'm going to leave it for now. I need to get my dirt back. And I did actually go ahead and make a bed just so we can know. Oh, now you're a farmer? Fisherman? Oh, you're a fisherman now. Okay, I guess he got tired of the leather working job. But yes, I made a bed just so I could uh, sleep through the night. So, nine sifters. What I'm kind of envisioning is having them all on a row kind of like this. Uh, which is going to make, make it so the crane is kind of in the way. But I think we'll be all right. What I then want to do is, of course, connect this to some water wheels. Then above that, we are going to be having... I think we need to make some funnels. Uh, we need to make some uh, some andesite funnels, I think. We could, yeah, we can't actually make the brass ones yet. But these are going to make it so that we can actually drop items into these. So let's say we have, uh, let's get the cobblestone here as an example. Let's place a block here of space, right? Then we can have a chest here with a funnel right here, which is exactly what we're going to, to do because that is where the finished product is going to be ending up. So cobblestone, uh, no, gravel, sand, and dust, sorry. Uh, so let's make a couple of barrels. I should already have some, so just as an example. We can place a barrel, not like that. Uh, do I, I don't have an axe. I want it to look nice, so with an axe acquired, I can do that. Place these here. We would then have funnels leading out to this. So three of them could be gravel. The three other sand and three other uh, dust. Maybe we don't need as much sand, so two of them can be sand and one dirt or something like that. Um, and then over here, we can have for these three, we can have cobblestone. We need to get cobblestone into these iron auto hammers. So these really need to be the next thing. But before that, I need to be able to uh, use these sifters on some gravel. And I think I can actually do this just like so. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so I need to connect this up to some water wheels, and I think I'm probably going to be needing three to pull these uh, nine here. So if I were to make some space, I could go ahead and do this, and then have a shaft or something right there, then connect two of these water wheels up. I would really love it to be the other way around. But I'm going to connect three, so one, two, three. I'm going to make a wall. And then place them like that. Okay, they can only go that side apparently. That's fine. Uh, so do that. We're going to have to have cobblestone here, obviously, so the water doesn't flow out. Then we need to have some back here. It's not going to look pretty right now, but it will be... Uh, well, I can't promise it'll look pretty, but it'll look better <laughs> when this is fully set up. I think uh, if we bring the water that way... Um, yes, walls here, I think it's going to be ideal, because then we can have, no, I want water here flowing outwards. I think that is where this is most optimal. So let's place a water bucket right there. That should make it run. 
another water bucket in the middle and another water bucket to the far left having, having this as glass would actually look kind of cool right so there we go already i'm then going to place a large cogwheel then we will have a small cogwheel which is going to make it go faster and we need to somehow turn this around i could add another large one maybe i'm doing this the wrong way around i might be doing this the wrong way around hold on we have a small one no, I, th I think it's the large, then it's small, because then it goes faster, then the large one? No, no, you add the... I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm getting back into the shape of things. Yep, then that runs faster, there we go. Alright, I think the setup should do it, I just need to get my hands on a shaft, which I do not have, I'm completely out. Which is bad, so I need to get some more andesite alloy, and to get the andesite alloy, I'm going to be needing more iron. Which is uh, annoying. <laughs> but I suppose I will just have to use a hand crank for now. Uh, go ahead and do that. Do I have any gravel on me? I don't think I do, so I'm going to have to do that real quick. Got to get this, and I'm. this is what I'm going to do as I... Uh, still do this a little bit manually uh, one if we go to one construction ones don't want there we go one I'm gonna make two I think two yes because I already have a half and I'm going to literally make uh, this entire stack of cobblestone into gravel very very easily so use this all the way over yep that is about right turn all this into gravel Gonna need a few hammers for it though. There we go. All gravel. A full stack. We can continue this trend all the way through. There we go. Hammer it down. Hammer this. And actually we're getting more than a stack here. So yeah, the using the, the builder wand and also the hammers. Obviously you need to do the hammer, but the builder wand makes this go quite a lot faster than it normally would you just need to have the tools for it and I made dust I needed to gravel that uh, well we'll use that later <laughs> anyway you you get you get what I'm trying to uh, what I'm trying to say here there we go Got the gravel now. Throw that in there. Hand crank and that's not where I wanted that to go. <laughs> Please. Yep, there we go. Place this on. Okay. You really want to make this complicated for me, I see. Place it there. And of course need to disconnect the rest. Here we go. I really just need one piece of iron, then I can automate the rest of it. There we go. Got the iron. I can disconnect this now. Place this back. Uh, reconnect this with the andesite mesh. Then all I need to do is uh, use some wood and the iron piece. Actually, this needs to go to the chest. I don't know if I'm going to keep this chest here. Probably not. Did I not add that? There we go. Do that. There we go. Iron. Knock it, this, that, only four andesite alloy, but it's enough to get eight sh uh, shafts here, which means I can connect this. Overstressed, it appears that this contraction is overstressed and more sources to slow down the components with a high stress impact. So does that mean I need more water wheels or that this is going too fast? Okay, so as, as soon as I remove uh, the ninth one, it works just fine. Splash. Why did... Okay. Anyway, this is now working. Let's just do it with eight then. Let's do it with eight. I don't think we need sand that much anyway. So this is now automated. Uh, and if we had... I don't think you can hover into this thing. I think it has to be dropped. So we need to make some funnels. And to get the funnels, we're going to get need, need some dried kelp. Now to get the dried kelp, of course, we need to cook normal kelp, and we get that from putting sand through an andesite mesh as well. So if I have any sand, if I have more than one sand, it would be amazing. But I don't have the one, so I'm going to throw that in there. 
and I got nothing from it. Okay. <laughs> well, what I can do is I can go ahead and say, you know what, do this dust. And I'm going to be getting us some sand very, very soon. I could, of course, be digging it from this pond, but that would be that that would be sad. That would be sad. I'm not good at base base work, by the way. So if you guys have any ideas for like base um base construction, base themes like that, and boom, we got sand, a stack. In fact, put that through there. And hopefully we'll get some kelp very, very quickly. Actually, hold on, we actually do have kelp in here. That's awesome. So I can go ahead and have some of this. Not the entire plant. So we'll harvest this very carefully. I want this to keep growing. It's so cool that there's like two squids just hanging around here. That's awesome. Right, 16, that should be plenty to get us started. I also need to set up some storage at some point because this is, yeah, not ideal. Right, we got 26 raw iron. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead actually and make another furnace. Uh because this is taking too <laughs> this is taking too long. We need to get a furnace up and going so that we can put this in here and put the iron in there. So that we can start making our first hammer. We do however have our first right kelp, so together with this. Uh we can make an andesite funnel and it's actually very nice. We get two out of one operation. So I can do this oh but that's facing the wrong way i need the um no <laughs> i need the i need the wrench i need the wrench in order to turn that around and i need the wrench from this which means I oh it's gold plate i thought that was brass okay gold plate i need to make a press i need to make a press which is a block of iron and andesite casing um, right, well, I need that because I need to turn these the other way around, but just to demonstrate, if we put, we still have dust in there, but as soon as it runs, oh no, I can't, I just remembered, I can't demonstrate. I need to, I need to wrench, hold up, you can actually hopper into this thing. I didn't know you could actually do that. Uh, that, I mean, I do want the wrench eventually, but that might... I might make this a little bit easier. Yep. It's looking at it. It kind of does look cool. Not gonna lie. Right. I think I'm dropping the funnel thing for now. And I'm gonna move all the barrels on top here. And then we're gonna uh, carry it through using wooden hoppers. That's just gonna save us from making the mechanical press and whatnot. Yeah, I'd much rather make this instead, actually. So if we place these right, like so, let it face downwards, and if I gave this, I'm pretty sure I have, like, I suppose dirt could do. Uh, do we have, yeah, so if I just empty, like, this one, there we go, if I just sugar cane, nice. Yep, it's doing the dirt. Okay, awesome, I'm gonna need to make more of those. Now, of course, we're going to be needing to set some out puts and I think I'm just gonna use chests to be honest so these three are going to be primarily for um, gravel I think then we could do two for dust so we could just do a double chest here two for dust two for sand and then we could do one for um for dirt I suppose is it really necessary for dirt it might be necessary for dirt I mean we get yeah we're, we're gonna get another add a, add one for dirt as well so I just need to add a bunch of hoppers underneath these as well. And then that will be the output system sorted. And now I'm going to be making a shovel because I am tired of doing it that slowly. There we go, get a shovel. And then I can dig this out right back here. Just to make life a little bit easier, you know. I'm also gonna steal this bed. Actually, I'm not stealing it. It's mine. It, it belongs to me. It's the, yeah, it's you that's stealing it. You should ask for permission first, but that's fine, I suppose. I do like to work during the night. <laughs> Alright, get all that. Get some more chests. Really don't want the berry right now. Alright, so chest right there. Double chest, double chest, and a chest. Then we just lead these into here. Or over here, we lead this one into the chest, this one into that one, and this one into that one. And I think that should be alright. So that is the output done. Uh, we'll leave this for now. So, 
with that, now we need to focus on the actual hammers. Um, so yeah, to make the hammer, the iron auto hammer, we need to have gold and iron as well as redstone and also an iron hammer like that. So I'm going to grab our redstone. I'm also going to be needing some gold, so I'm going to be smelting some, I think. Just to make sure that we have everything that we need. Cook that up. I do have some starter gold here, though. But to make the iron hammer, we need to get some stone rods as well. I'm just going to make... Actually, let's just make 54 of those. And I'm going to be needing... I'm not sure how fast these actually are. But let's start out with three. I'm not sure how fast these are, like I said. So... Oh, we need glass. Glass, 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 glass. I need to get sand, huh? Yeah, getting... Hmm, hmm, yeah, well, it's, it's probably going to be the easiest way forward. By the way, the last episode has not actually released yet by the time I am recording this. So if you guys have seen, have like given me any feedback or suggestions or anything like that, I will have not seen it yet. But rest assured, I will. So again, if you have any suggestions and things like that, don't... Oh, come on. <laughs> Don't hesitate to let me know. We're going to make a test here. I wonder if you can use a used iron hammer uh, in the recipe. We're going to find out. We are going to find out, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. That should be enough sand. Get rid of this. Put the sand in there. Just get one coal. Put that in there. And honestly, the villager is getting a little bit too loud. So I'm just going to... Actually, I think I can... Muffle? And villager ambient work... Yeah, let's let's uh, muffle those sounds because that that is a little bit tiring. All right, two glass and also plenty more gold. So that means we should now be able to make our first uh, auto hammer. And yes, you can use <laughs> use a used hammer. That is awesome. Food is getting problematic again. I'm gonna eat some hot ears. because why not? Probably not very delicious, though. Uh, right, so I actually want to go in here uh, because with a renewable source of cobble, it's time to start thinking about automating and scaling. Auto hammers will automatically hammer the items, the item inside. It will pull items from an inventory on the blue side and push the output into an inventory on the red side. By distributing your cobble to multiple lines of auto hammers, you can completely automate each of the siftable blocks. Uh, so that is a speed upgrade. Uh, I wonder... Okay, so that's one. So if I just add the, that to there... Yeah, I think that's actually going to be a lot faster. Also, item transporter, so that's cool. Um, so, what did it say again? <laughs> Pull items from an inventory on the blue side and push, it output, push the output into an inventory on the red side. Uh, so that's the red side right there, so... Ideally, I will want to get some scaffolding, I guess that will do. Chop this, grab it, put dirt, no, put uh, dirt here, place it like so, maybe place it here. I need the red to be facing, where did it go? Wait, where did, where did my auto hammer go? <laughs> okay, we're gonna remove this for now. <laughs> did I just lose an auto hammer? Nope, it's in here. Okay. Okay. There we go. Finally. Sheesh. Okay, let's let me try and get this orientated in the right way. Okay, I think I got it. So that is the output right there. As it says, pull items from an inventory on the blue side and push the output into an inventory on the red side. So if I place the barrel back here, anything that it then outputs, so gravel or sand, is going to put put into that specific barrel like so. Now, if I go ahead and remove this, place this back, also remove this. Okay, you do that. And then I need to get... I need to get this over here, actually. Um, I'm gonna need some more hoppers, I think. I just realized, actually, I'm not gonna do it this way. Please pick it up. Yep, yeah, thank you. Uh, because I'm going to be serving both of these, so I think I'm gonna do something completely different. Ooh! Oh, that's nice. I probably shouldn't be voiding the, 
<laughs> the berries then, since uh, I could actually eat these, so I'm just gonna put them in here. This is full, so it's blocking it anyway. Um, but what I'm trying to do here is obviously to get some more wood, but also I need to try and get enough wooden hoppers to try and do what I intend to do here, which is to distribute cobblestone to three of the barrels at the same time. I don't know if it's actually going to work, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So my theory is, hop us into that, need to get to the high ground here. Then I would need to have uh, an extra block there. Actually, just need to remove this, the rack. It's interesting. Place that in there, move that over. And in theory now, if I serve cobblestone to that, which I can do from a barrel, like so, and then the auto hammer, I think on the side like that, I think that could maybe work, I don't know if it's actually gonna be, you know what, it's probably gonna be too slow, because this is going to pick it all up eventually. Yeah, you know what? One sifter, for now anyway, we just want to get started. One material per sifter, I think, for now, is probably going to be the wisest thing to do. Alright, so for now, this is going to be the setup. Uh, gravel, sand, dust, dirt. So these four are going to be used for now. We will expand it as we go, I suppose. Uh, so, I need this to go here. And there we go. That is going to be the input which is going to be a barrel. And then I need to get... Uh, hmm. How am I gonna get cobblestone distributed from this? So I can move the location of the pedestal to back there so that it outputs cobblestone here down the line, but I don't have any pipes as such. So I need to figure out how I do that without using the... Eh the hoppers, because I don't think that is the most viable solution. I think I have the solution for that problem. Uh, if I could do parkour, that would be amazing. I'm just gonna have one cobblestone generator per setup. So let's just test this for now. Let's put some cobblestone in here. This should automatically take it out. Yep, it took it. And this now has one gravel. It looks like it is actually keeping up Perfectly. Just like this. It is keeping up perfectly with the setup. I'm gonna do this so it outputs it into the chest. And look at that. That is awesome. All I then need to do is to add one more here and then another one here. And then the barrel right there. And then cobblestone to that, because that will then turn it into gravel, and the next hammer will then turn it into sand. Look at that, just from those 32 cobblestones, we now have all of this stuff right here. Uh, right, this is actually gonna get filled pretty quickly, but we do have a storage here where we can upgrade our chest to iron chests, etc. So that is something we will do as well down the road. Now, however, I need to grab my iron, my redstone, and especially my gold, and we need to make some more... Auto hammers, I need to also grab my glass. And I think I need to make more than these, actually. Because right now I have enough for that. Yeah, I'm gonna need to make one more, which is actually just a dying hammer that I'm missing. And that should be everything for that, because then I can go ahead and do this, do this, and do this, and yeah, this log is gonna have to go, unfortunately. Be gone. There we go, and barrels are now in place. Now I need to go ahead and make six pedestals. I don't know if I have enough of that, actually. But we're gonna find out. Uh, six, exactly. Boom, six pedestals. So one is going to be the receiver, which is gonna be up here. Boom, boom, boom. And then one is, another one is going to be, of course, the, the producer which uh, I will need some stone. Do I have some stone? Do I need to cook more stone? I need to cook more stone, apparently. Okay, where's my coal? I don't have coal. Give me coal, please give me coal. There we go. And there we go. So now I am just going to place the stone right here. I think this is going to work. Maybe it'll look neater down below. But this is fine for now. 
place this here. Then we need to go ahead and make an export upgrade, which we make from an import upgrade, which for that we need an upgrade base. And we're going to be needing one, two, three, four, five, six, I believe, of these. And then we can go ahead and turn that into... Well, actually, ooh, that's going to be expensive. We need to make some hoppers. I don't have enough iron for that, unless I definitely do have enough iron for that. That's awesome. Something that I definitely want to attach to this as well, actually, which might be a thing we do in the next episode, is setting up this a drawers, uh, drawer with a drawer controller would be really cool. Looks affordable, assuming we could actually get some quartz for the comparator, because if we can get that, then I don't need the chest as much. Those can just be ender chests leading into a big big drawer that just leads into furnaces and things like that. While we're waiting for the iron though, we could go ahead and... Oh, I thought there was a fire or something. Well, there is, but... <laughs> uh, I can go ahead and make this. Question is, is it going to consume the buckets as well? I don't think it will, but let's find out. Boom. Yep, doesn't. So I'm going to need three more of those, or two more of those, sorry. So this is the second one. And then I can get water right there, and I can get the final lava from over here, because I'm not going to be needing this machine again. Hopefully, anyway. Well, I won't, because I've got this now. <laughs> uh, right, so those are the three right there. That is done. Now I just need the hoppers, which I should have enough to make. Three. Yep. Then, make three of those. Then turn these into exports, which is what we have right there. Now for the fun part. We are gonna, I think, get rid of this chain. Doesn't really fit the aesthetics right now. So give this right, like so. Right click this like that. And then I need to link them. So, link visualizer. Receiver pedestal has been saved like that. So, link visualizer. Hold down shift, right click this. Then right click that. Click on this one. Don't know if we have to, so. Oh, all of them are actually turned on, so that, there we go. Uh, right click this and click that. So, very soon, I think, we will see dust working in that one right there. If I haven't done it completely wrong. Yep, dust is being indeed. Sifted. <laughs> okay, that is cool. Um, so now the, this other one is for dirt. And actually, th this is going to keep keep generating stuff. It's not going to end. Now what we need to do is upgrade the, the, the matches so that we get more stuff as we go and better stuff as well and higher chances and such. But ideally, I would like to set up, if possible, we do have a lot of dirt. I don't really want to use the dirt. We have clubs of soil, of course. Um, but is there a way... We can squeeze mud to get dirt. We can material generator. Okay, yeah, I noted this down. Uh, we can actually set up a pe pedestal for rich soil or organic compost. Ooh, straw. I do not feel like getting straw. <laughs> uh, so this is organic compost. So what was the other one? What was the other one? Uh, beep, 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 beep. Find it, please. Organic compost, rich soil. Oh. And you need to compost in order to... Okay. Uh, organic compost. I need run flesh tree bark. Okay, I need tree bark, bone meal, dirt, and two straw. Okay, well, I should be getting actually a stable amount of uh, bone meal from this. Which I can then use over here. To get this and hopefully get enough straw to set this up. And this is actually going to be very, very relevant because we're going to get the anthracite chunk, the tough and the diorite, which is probably going to be used for other things in the future. So this is actually a pretty important uh, process right here. Actually, I'm going to need those too because I need to make some more pedestals. Ooh, nice. Let's hope I get one as easily <laughs> next time. All right, hammer has been made as well as a barrel. So I can attach that to this. I can jump up. I can attach the barrel like so. Then I just need to compostable dirt right there. Two pedestals and we're done. One, two. Then I just need to make two upgrade thingies like so. Need to go ahead and make a hopper. 
then turn one of them into this, turn it into that, then turn it into the material thing in between. Ah, yes, water and lava, which I don't have any lava as of right now, but maybe. As I'm finishing the other stuff, it'll be completed. Now, this is something as well, actually, I was just about to bone meal these, but I just noticed that we're getting blaze powder, so that's another thing that... That's probably going to be our source of power, actually, because we can take that blaze powder. Well, it might not, because we would need an automatic uh, squeezer, but we could take that, in theory, blaze powder, put it into an automatic squeezer, which I guess requires power, and then generate lava, which we can, well, either use or use for power. It depends on how much power the the automatic speeds of would actually uh, require. But in theory, that is something that we could do. This is really going to open the doors for a lot of other things in the future. And there we go. Perfect. I got the straw. Next, I need to get... I already have the dirt. I already have the bone meal. Get rid of this now. Well, I should have the bone meal anyway. Yep, two bone meal right there. I just need the tree back, which should be as easy as placing this here. Doing this three times, I'm pretty sure. There we go. And I'm just going to turn these into planks because I don't want them laying around taking up space. Uh, ooh, I need to do it one more time then. Okay. Do that. Again, planks. And then... Organic compost. Beautiful. Lava? No lava. Well, the easiest is probably going to be to take four of these and squeezing it myself. Eh, eh, eh. Perfect. Yeet. Eh, 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 eh. And lava is served. Press that back up. Get this made. And we should be finished here. Because I'm going to place this here. Going to place a pedestal there and there. Generator there. Extract a thingy there. Yep, it's making dirt. And then... Do that. And we should be sifting through dirt momentarily. Why did I make a hammer for it? That... <laughs> I made a hammer for it. I don't need a hammer for it. Um, well, I guess that is an excuse to use these. I don't really want to move it. So just so it looks fancy, that's my excuse. We're putting dirt into it like that. Yeah, now it looks kind of fancy. Let's do that. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, that... Look at that. We already have more than two stacks... Uh, more than a stack of iron right there. Guys, that is going to be the automation for that. I don't know how much we can actually sift through this. So if we do... Okay. 40 different recipes. Dust, mycelium, crushed and stone. Crushed and stone again. Mycelium, sand... Netherrack, sand again. Let's just go through and see if there's anything. Crushed Netherrack is going to be very relevant, I think. Uh, of course, we it shows for every single of the of the single one of the meshes. Ooh, this could be a source of food right here. Doing leaves, yeah. Uh, soul sand to get quartz. That's going to be very relevant. Like, how are we gonna get soul sand? It's a question though. Uh, Material generator again. So guys, this is going to be our sifting setup. Right now we're only doing four of these, but in the future this is going to be led to some drawer setup somewhere. And I need to take a look at um, power generation. I need to set a plan for our power generation and also our furnace setup. Because using a furnace with coal is a possibility, but if we can start generating power and then use power for a furnace, to spell things, that would probably be the most ideal. But guys, I think that is going to do it for this episode. In between episodes, I'm going to plan ahead how we're actually going to get started with power so we can do that in the next episode because I think that is going to be the next step, like I said, to set up some automation with it when it comes to furnaces and things like that so we can actually utilize the ores and not just look at them. So yeah, that is on the table and we go ahead and collect all of our rewards here. And, ooh, we actually got a lot of good stuff. Hold on. Redstone Lantern. Uh, I know the codex from Ars Novo. I've never played with that mod before, so doing that would be probably really cool. Um, Golden Marshmallow. Hmm. Range Augment. Uh, mushroom. Rice. That's cool. Golden Egg. 
that is really cool delightful dirt that means we can get mob spawning maybe maybe set up a mob farm or something i did see this right here in the powering up this reaper generators are a very unique way of both generating fe and killing mobs but it's a soul catalyst and it will start dealing damage to the surrounding mobs so we could potentially do something like that however we would need to set up this and stuff like that we also do need to get to the nether at some point which i'm not sure how we're gonna get to the nether um oh it's actually right here so yeah we will continue this as we go along but next time i think power generation is going to be on the table but i've rambled on long enough i really hope you have enjoyed this episode if you did be sure to leave a like subscribe if you're new enable those notifications so you don't miss the next episode and i hope to see you in the next one have a wonderful day and until next time goodbye Stop.